On the line is a is a very good friend, a very astute uh, uh, politically uh, a guy and uh, PBS anchor and author of the book. What were they thinking? Our dear friend Steve Adubato. Steve, welcome to the show. Welcome, Joe. How you doing? You know what? We're doing great. It's been a crazy weekend. I mean, these last weeks, and I know you and I have been corresponding, and it's been, uh, you know, I love the radio stuff, and I know you do too, uh, but it's been crazy because I'm trying to work it in with the live appearances and then come down here. But, you know, I'm a political junkie, I'm a news junkie, and I'm a radio aficionado, so I'm actually having a blast, my friend. Well, I'm in Jersey traffic, Joe. Could you relate at all? <laughs> yeah. You know, oh, but, uh, I, I listen, How about not, this, Joe? How's this? Like, this is how you know I grew up in Newark, but I've turned into a total snob. Uh Uh, There's a car service that's taking me where I have to go, and it's a different driver that I'm not used to, and I'm complaining. Uh, Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) I've turned Uh, into a total snob. I know you think about it. you think about our parents or grandparents. It's like that. Wait a minute, what now? My Take grandfather, the- my grandfather, right now, you know, from Naples, we turn over his grave. He'd be going. Are you kidding yeah. me? A car service? Yeah, I know. I know. Yeah. Seriously, take the take or take the bus for Christ. Like Frank Morano takes the bus everywhere, you know. But hey, Stephen, exactly. so you know you're right in the middle of everything. You talked to Steve Sweeney, uh, the, the, the this head of the Senate in New Jersey. You talked to Steve Sweeney recently, correct? Over the weekend, over the weekend on PBS WNET, which is the New York PBS station, and of course the New Jersey PBS station NJTV. Um, yeah. We sat down and, and talked to him, and um, listen. There's investigations obviously going on in New Jersey with the U.S. Attorney and the legislature looking at all kinds of things. But the bottom line is, you know, we got property taxes through the roof. We've got a pension system that public employees, you know, the question is going to be, is there going to be money for them? And the state has a big pension payment they have to make. they got school issues. The governor and the state of the state proposed a longer school day and a longer school year. Um, you've got all kinds of issues that are going on. I think people forget that the business of state government has to continue. And I sat down and talked to the president of the state senate, who is a pretty powerful guy, um, about how we're going to conduct state business while the business of the judicial system, the investigatory system, plays itself out. And that's that's important stuff, listen. And so, I, you know, it's so funny with social media. I got some tweets over the weekend, some complaints. Hey, out of bother, you're going to ask Sweeney what he thinks about the investigation. I'm thinking, oh, you don't have enough of the Christie investigation on the air? Yeah. It's not, not enough of it. So I figured... Hey, listen, let's talk about state government and what is going on in the people's business with Steve Sweeney. And then also next week we'll have the new speaker of the state uh, assembly, Vincent Prieto. So, uh, listen, the people's business continues, Joe, in Jersey. You know, eight minutes before 8 o'clock on AM 970, The Answer with uh, Piscopo and Adubato on the uh, radio. Appreciate you being with us this morning. Steve Sweeney seems like a, a good guy, Steve Adubato. He had a great line to start off. I mean, Joe, you'll appreciate this coming from Jersey while I'm making, you know, I'm complaining that I don't have the right show for this morning. How about this? He says, hey, Steve, the state legislature is being run by an iron worker, which is what Steve Sweeney is, is he's president of the Senate. An iron worker, and Vinnie Prieto, the Speaker of the Assembly, is a plumber. Yeah. Because the state legislature <laughs> is being run by an iron worker and a plumber. That is, I, I, you got more Jersey than that. It's so true. But with Steve Sweeney, the head of the New Jersey State Senate, now he'll run for governor. I think. Uh, oh yeah. When, he, you know, he's seventeen. But he did not clash. He seems to be amenable. He doesn't clash directly with Chris Christie because he's a. He just, you can't get more union than Steve Sweeney, and you can't get more uh, really. He, he did though. Know? I guess he listen. Uh, sorry for interrupting, Joe. He, he was yeah. together with Christie on the pension reform because. Even though Sweeney, he could tell you, he's told a great story that your, your audience will appreciate. Because Sweeney's been a, a union guy his whole life as an iron worker. But he said, let me tell you something. I knew that we were going to run out of money with the public employee pensions. So we had to ask the public employee unions to make some concessions, right? Change the entire structure. They had to give back more. He said, but I disagree with the governor. When the governor raised the possibility of the state not putting in their pension payment this year as much as what's proposed, which is about $2 billion. He said, you do not go back on a deal. So he disagrees with Christie on that. The thing I see with Christie and Sweeney is that they will compromise. They will work out deals, as opposed to some Democrats who, frankly, are salivating over the possibility that Christie, you know, has a problem. That's not Sweeney. Sweeney wants to figure out how to get things done, which to some people they think is being a bad Democrat. I don't. I see it as being a guy who wants to solve problems for people. 
Well, I know, and you guys, the Adubato family has been so uh, uh, front front and center in politics in Newark, and certainly in the North Ward of Newark. And and uh, you guys, you know, you like I love the way you talk with Governor Christie. Matter of fact, you got to We will never come on this show, but I would. I have a feeling he will talk to you, Steve Adubato. Can you get well, not right Governor- now, Joe? Yeah, yeah. I, no, I'm you know, telling you, man, you guys, no, no, you, there no. you are, there you are, the Autobottle family North in the North Ward of Newark, all the Italians are so proud what you do with the North Ward Center, with the children, what your mom and dad have done, magic with these yeah. kids, and then you, you were in office yourself, and you are the Jersey guy when it comes to politics, you're the guy, you know the governor's going to talk to you, Steve Autobottle, come on, do the interview, yeah, and come on. Chris Christie's going to sit down with Steve Autobottle, listen, I've had some great interviews with the governor, there have been times that you have. it's been pretty tense between us, but then other times, listen, last time I said that, that one was February 2013. It was a few months after Hurricane Sandy. We had a great, uh, intimate conversation, but very powerful and very personal. But it was a different time. Yeah, you know, Chris Christie's going to sit down with me and say, Steve, let me just tell you what happened. Are you kidding me? I mean, Woody, Joe, yeah, we grew up the same place. I mean, <laughs> you got lawyers up the wazoo. Yeah. You got all kinds yeah. of investigations. Chris Christie right now is smart enough to understand that everyone around him has lawyers. There's the U.S. attorney involved. He was the U.S. attorney. I, listen, do I believe that Chris Christie was telling the truth when he held that press conference? Yes. And I don't care who around me doesn't believe that. That doesn't mean that mistakes weren't made. That doesn't mean that I wouldn't have wanted more aggressive efforts to find out the truth. Okay. Right, but right. the fact is, one has to do with legalities. The other one has to do with leadership style. And by the way, the governor is going to admit at some point that he could have and should have done things differently. That doesn't mean that has anything to do with criminality. That's my view. Yeah, Steve Adubato on the line, PBS anchor, author of the book, What Were They Thinking? And I heard you just killed it at the uh, AM 970, uh, The Answer, uh, the breakfast they had with Mike Gallagher. And uh, we were, I, I swear to God, Steve, I, I talked to you like a buddy, if I may, if our listeners don't mind, because we're at a sales meeting, and we're all having fun at this radio station, taking it very seriously, and I'm taking it very seriously. You were quoted at the sales meeting. You know what Steve Adubato said? He said, and he oh, told me. Had- bad salesman, I'm <laughs> I loved it. No, man, well, it was great. Call Tony Robbins, you got to quote me. <laughs> you were the guy, I'm man. I'm a poor man's Tony Robbins. I mean, am I right, Frank and Al? Am I right? It was unfortunately, a... yes. Yeah, you, you are, are right. Though. I'd love to say oh, you were lying, oh, but yeah. Oh. Take it from Frank Moran. Frank, Frank, what did they, Frank? I will take. Chris Capone's doing shtick on me. Frank, what did they say? <laughs> well, uh, you know, uh, Bill Nye, who was uh, pinch hitting for Jerry Crowley, who who left the polar vortex to be in uh, eighty degree weather on the West Coast. <laughs> Bill Nye says, you know, it's just like uh, it's just like out of bottle set at the business breakfast. You gotta do X, Y, and Z. I'm not going to disclose it because for the people that didn't pay the ten dollars, there's no reason they should enjoy the your Steve, wisdom like I, the rest I swear, of us I swear to goodness Steve it was on the money two minutes before eight o'clock uh, and uh, Steve we always appreciate you taking uh, you're, you're, you're one of the busiest cats out there thanks so much for jumping on with us Steve Adubato you make the morning great Joe Frank uh, and Al you guys are the best thank you Steve we'll see you soon